in with last year's second, which I backed last year and watched with head in hands as I realised that he wasn't going to get it done, but you think he might do this year, Kitty's light. Yeah, well, um, when my wings is not in there and, I mean, she was kind of looking like she was still kind of well handicapped, wasn't she, going into it last year? I mean, he absolutely loves these marathon tests. I think that's the kind of, that's the reason why I picked him whenever he steps up to this kind of trip. Um, he really kind of gets to show um, just how good he is. It's funny, isn't it, when you get horses that they just, they, you know, there's not enough for these long distance races. Is there really for horses like him that just really do just want to, you know, want to go as as far further and as possible. But he was second last year. I know he was well clear of the third. He's coming in, obviously, after winning the, the Ida. So, you know, he's in good form. He's got the cheap pieces back on. And I just think you'd be mad not to have at least a little bit on uh, Lucinda Russell's horse, um, your own story, given the fact that um, they do so well with these kind of horses, don't they? I mean, I mean to 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 win a, what two kind of nationals in um, in the matter of a, a, of two weeks would be, you know, it'd be great for them, wouldn't it? But um, this horse, obviously, we don't quite know if he'll stay that far. But um, when he won at Weatherby, he certainly wasn't stopping at the line. It's a nice big galloping track, so if you if one thing you've got on your side is stamina, then it shows at Weatherby. So um, definitely interesting having a little bit on him. And then obviously um, Kitty's Light, who hopefully I think should be able to do it again because he's a, one of those horses, isn't he, where he's like he's been running in graded races. And then as soon as he kind of gets a, a race like this to, to run in, he, he kind of really gets to utilise um, his stamina. Yeah, I'm with you. Let me just give you those prices. Um, not with Kitty's Light, but with your own story. So Kitty's Light, actually, Mom Beg Genius and Kitty's Light are, are joint favourites now at 6.0. And your own story is 9.0. I'm definitely with you with your own story. I think he'll stay because he kept on well enough last time. And what looked, you know, I know he's a beaten favourite, but I thought it was an ideal prep for something like this. And just the you know, Derek Fox is going to be full of confidence. I think they're going to want to ride this horse similarly to how Corrett Rambler was ridden. And, um, uh, yeah, I, I think he's got a lovely profile for this. The other one I wanted to put up was Under Supervision, who he wears cheap pieces because he can be a bit of a, a, a dodgy jumper. Um, but I I thought he shaped well last time, staying on. I, I, I've always had him in mind for a marathon-type test. And I still think he's fairly treated at 21.0. I know it seems silly given that he, he can put in the odd bad jump and there are going to be more jumps than he's ever had here. But I don't know. I, I still think he's got a bit of room off his mark. So um, 21.0 under supervision, I'll, I'll give a, a little nudge to as well. Charlie, who are you going for, sir? I've gone with Monbeg Genius. I mean, we, we all seem to be sort of grouping around the head of the market, which uh, in, a, in an ultra competitive big field is, is slightly irritating but I just couldn't get away from him you know the form in the ultimate I, I thought it, you know he ran a massive race there and the, like I say the form with that with Corat Rambler doesn't look bad now does it and he just has a very upwardly progressive profile um, I don't think John Joe has won this race before John Joe Senior that is but but I can see that changing tomorrow and and like I say if there's a horse in the field with the potential to 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 rate a bit higher up than this and progress further still I think it's Monbeg Genius I think the trip will be absolutely fine. I think he's a decent jumper. You know, I think he's tactically fairly versatile about how they can ride him. And that, yeah, I just think there's a huge upside to this horse. Um, the Euro, your own story angle is interesting. I think with Lucinda Russell, you've got to respect whatever she runs, haven't you, really? Now, I mean, that they are probably the one incredibly, you know, a yard on an upward trajectory. I mean, I was talking to her at the sales and what did they take? Five, five runners to entry. They want a national a grade one, you know, if a hoist and you're a jump the last better, they might have had another grade one. And, and then they had a second, the big handicap chase as well, that they're, they're having a phenomenal time and they seem to be upgrading the caliber of horses that they have and that they were spending more money yesterday. So definitely a yard that's been around for a long time, but I think is only going to rate higher as, as we move forward into next year and beyond. Their yeah, bumper horse ran well too. I know he finished sixth, yeah. but he only faded out of it late. Honestly, they, they, they were on fire up there. That horse is 6.0. Anyway, Monbeg Genius, the, the John Joe Neal horse you mentioned. Steve Jones, 41.0. Look, you found one. Uh, well, I hope so. Um, I, I must say, I do respect, I think, the top of the market, Kitty's Light. Kitty's Light seems to be in around for ages. It's only a seven-year-old and started jumping as a four-year-old with uh, jumping fences. And Monbeg Genius, I was all over in the Ultima and ran really well. 
your own stories. Another, but um, there's two I like. I've come down on ruthless article uh, just narrowly. I think it's going to dry out the ground today. There's a bit of rain around tomorrow, but I think it's going to be um, decent ground, and that will suit ruthless article who has only had one run since last summer, and that was when fifth or sixth behind two for gold at Ascot. Uh, but this horse does not want to go right-handed. Uh, going back left-handed would be absolutely ideal. Spent most of its career around two and a half miles to five, but stepped up in distance to 3-2 at Utoxta last summer in the Summer Cup, which is always a really hotly contested race. Jerry's back one, it was well handicapped. Frankie de Burley was third, who went on to win at Market Race in the Big Summer Cup there. And Streets of Doyen, who's got good form and back and killed the start. So it was a really hot race. And Ruthless Article saw the trip out really well that day. Just bumped into a better handicap one in, in Jerry's back. And then went on to win over 3-2 at Utoxeter. So I can't understand why this horse is trained by Rebecca Coetis, who won this race uh, five years ago. She hasn't really had many winners since then. Because she, she hasn't had a winner since October, but she she's nowhere near the level that she used to be. But she's still a very capable trainer. Uh, things have gone a little bit uh, pear-shaped for her, but she's still very good. At, and I'm sure she's aimed this horse at this race. One run around a right-handed track, now going back left-handed, completely unexposed. And 41.0 is, uh, is not uh, a reflection of Ruthless Article's chance, I think. So with ruthless article winning place lord accord if it doesn't rain tomorrow and it's proper good ground verging on the faster side i can see lord accord running really well it's Second not allowed of... to. it's not it can't i'll be it can't steve please no please. uh I've, <laughs> I've i've never been um with this horse in around sharper tracks like wing canton but ran really well in the badger beer second of froden Never, it's run on soft ground the last twice, once in the, the festival in the amateurs race and then over hurdles in the cleave hurdle. I think that's going to run a big race, is providing Jinga, there's not Jinga, too much rain. Jinga will definitely stay, even if the ground's good. I think he's got a chance, isn't he? I don't think, sometimes you, you can't absolutely nail a horse, but I wouldn't put it past him, that's for sure. He certainly sees out three miles really well and beat the Wolf uh, back at Cheltenham in October and the Wolf is a bit iffy but he's a, a horse that i think has got a big race in him at some point on decent ground 